Ladies and gentlemen, doamnelor și domnilor, mesdames, messieurs, bună dimineața, bonjour, good morning, Joregeld, Kivanok. Um, um, bine ați venit la deschiderea celei de-a noua ediții a Academiei Internaționale de Vară, Booster Entrepreneurship Skills in Transylvania. So, now I will switch to English and we will continue <laughs> that way because it's the official language and for those who will change their language, we will have a translation. So, welcome again. Thank you for your time because today is a very important event to us. We open our best International Summer Academy, and uh, we also want to launch the new concept that the, our university uh, will propose to the environment, uh, to the social and economic environment. So, uh, what can I say? Uh, uh, first, I will start with that innovating tradition. It's, some, it's about something new. Uh, something borrowed, something blue, you know, uh, there are blue, but uh, there are a lot of new things uh, these days, especially for the colleagues who keep coming here, colleagues from France, they made a good uh, let's say commitment and every year keep coming here because uh, this is uh, friendship and partnership. So. Uh, But now you are not uh, in the same university. There is something new. It's the new University of Medicine, Pharmacy, Science and Technologies from Turgu Muresh. Uh, strong university, a larger university. And we need uh, to thank for the support to organize uh, this. We have uh, support there for all the faculty as are represented today. I will uh, also, uh, when I see the students uh, dressed in the official t-shirt, it's uh, really moving. So uh, I thank you students because you sacrifice a part of your uh, holidays, but uh, I promise you, you won't regret because uh, there are several pillars that our the march is built on we can say first it's friendship open minded fun and good work and uh, the rest you will discover during now uh, it is my pleasure to invite uh, professor daniela stefanescu to who is the representative of the top management of university, the Dean of the Faculty of Business and Law, to salute you. Hello to everyone. I'm so glad to be here again and again, um, because uh, every, almost every edition, I was at the opening, at the closing ceremony, sometimes in the jury, so uh, I know very well how this uh, uh, International Summer Academy works. It's a great opportunity for all of us who are here in this room as students, as participants, to learn something new, to have new approaches related to entrepreneurship, to uh, try to see how uh, well are you prepared to become an entrepreneur. If you would like to uh, test yourself, this is the best opportunity. And uh, I cannot... Uh, Uh, express uh, uh, entirely my admiration for the main two uh, co-organizers of this uh, very, very special event, Professor Jean-Claude Million from uh, EUT Strasbourg um, um, University and my colleague Liviu Chukan Rusu, because every year they with so much uh, ambition and determination and passion and the involvement they uh, try to do the best for you to have the best time of your uh, uh, study years to make uh, memorable memories for all your life 
So please uh, try to um, live every second, every moment of this uh, International Summer School and uh, be creative, be innovative and uh, let the best to win the best uh, International Summer Academy. Thank you. So uh, let's uh, go directly to the, let's say, to the official uh, program. And I will invite my colleague and friend, Professor Jean-Claude Million, UT Louis Pasteur de Strasbourg, to have his speech. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> Bonjour. I won't uh, speak in uh, English because I am with uh, two uh, English professors from Strasbourg. Uh, they, pe they speak uh, better English than uh, me, <laughs> than I am. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Donc, <coughs> tout d'abord, je voudrais remercier l'Université uh, de médecine, de pharmacie, de sciences et technologies. Uh, en particulier, donc, uh, Monsieur le Recteur, qui n'est pas là pour nous accueillir dans les locaux, de mettre à disposition uh, l'ensemble du matériel et des locaux de l'université. Uh, well, I would like to thank uh, everybody to welcome us here today and to, uh, well, the University of Medicine, of Pharmacy, of Science, Technology, to uh, welcome us here uh, this week and to be able to uh, provide us with some, uh, well, uh, yeah, facilities and, uh, yeah, and, and room and uh, local. Ensuite, uh, un, un salut particulier à la faculté <coughs> d'économie et de droit, hein, qui chaque année est présente et nous accueille également, mm -hmm. uh, et une, J'en profite pour remercier l'ensemble des collègues de cette faculté ici présents. Okay, a special thank to uh, people from the uh, Economy University. Uh, I'd like to thank them personally and uh, uh, I say hello to everybody while attending here today. Et puis, euh, dans cette faculté, je ne voudrais pas oublier mon collègue euh, Liviu Chukan. Euh, ça fait 9 ans que l'on officie ensemble sur cette uh, école d'été, cette université d'été. OK, next of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to my colleague and friend, Liviu, with whom I've been working with for nine years, I believe. Nine years? OK. Uh, je sais que pour lui, c'est un, un gros travail que d'organiser uh, cette semaine uh, entrepreneuriale. Sorry, Jean-Claude, sorry. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> Well, we, I know it's a very, it's a very hard work to uh, prepare all this, and it's, uh, well, that's why I thank him personally. Um, we've been working for so long together. Et je suis sûr que par la qualité de vos travaux, vous saurez rendre hommage à l'ensemble de sa disponibilité et de ce qu'il a pu faire auparavant. And I'd like to just say thank you again for all the hard work that you've done for everybody, which is it's very, very difficult to do, and it's appreciated. Je voudrais également remercier uh, son, son staff, son équipe, uh, qui travaille, que l'on voit chaque année, Mael, uh, Daniel, et puis uh, plein d'autres, je ne peux pas tous les citer. Merci à eux. Many thank you too to the keep, the rest of the keep, Mihai, and everybody here that's put everything together for today. Thank you. Ensuite, il y a tout un ensemble de participants qui vont travailler, des professeurs, des étudiants de Roumanie, de France, de Moldavie et d'Ukraine. Je crois que j'oublie pas d'autres pays. Angleterre. And again, thank you to everybody, the whole network of people who are working together, those from Moldova and Romania too. Thank you. Et enfin, uh, un salut pour la presse ici présente, les médias qui vont uh, relayer uh, nos travaux uh, de cette semaine. And many thanks to the media that's working here today. Thank you. Alors, je vais, j'articulerai mon propos sur uh, deux axes. Euh, pourquoi euh, une formation particulière à l'entrepreneuriat 
et euh, comment utiliser euh, les nouvelles technologies de l'information pour euh, dispenser cette formation. Ok, we'll talk about two main uh, things. The first one is uh, how it works, how entrepreneurship works, and uh, the second one will be the way uh, we should uh, devote uh, to the training, to the training of entrepreneurship. Uh, nous savons tous que la création d'entreprises contribue à la création de richesses, au renouvellement des entreprises et également au développement des innovations dans un pays. We all know that uh, to create a company cre contributes to creating wealth and uh, by that means uh, it's um, a way for us to, um, <coughs> um, to enlarge and to uh, broaden uh, the uh, riches of a country. Par conséquent, uh, la formation à l'entrepreneuriat est au cœur des préoccupations euh, pédagogiques. Entrepreneurship training is at the core of our pedagogical uh, um, means. Alors pourquoi euh, former à l'entrepreneuriat D'abord, <coughs> ce développement des types de formation nécessite des changements de comportement, de nouvelles capacités, à savoir prise d'initiative, capacité à créer son propre emploi. Um, so why why uh, should we do this? Actually, it's uh, a means to create uh, own jobs and. Um, uh, remember what he said? Because I can't lost. To create jobs and to create wealth. Alors, euh, peut-on former à l'entrepreneuriat et comment How can we, how can we train people to entrepreneurship and how How should be done Alors, former à l'entrepreneuriat, c'est transmettre des connaissances, des savoirs, mais ce n'est pas suffisant. Il faut aussi euh, s'inscrire dans un registre culturel et comportemental nouveau. Ok, so first of all, it's also to create um, knowledge, to spread knowledge, to educate people, And to also, but it's not only that, it's also to, Jean-Claude, to? Uh, no, S'insérer dans un registre culturel okay, to comportemental. Ins to insert people into the right cultural register. Alors, deux raisons principales. L'entrepreneuriat conduit à l'épanouissement personnel. OK. Entrepreneuriat, entrepreneurship develops, helps to people to develop personally. Développer les talents, la créativité, réaliser des rêves, acquérir une indépendance, une sensation de liberté. Ok, and to, to help people to develop their talent and to help them to get to know each other basically, to know themselves. Ensuite, l'entrepreneuriat a une dimension économique et sociétale. Entrepreneurship also has development um, a wide scope, economical wide scope and social wide scope too. On l'a dit, l'entrepreneuriat le, est aussi le moteur de la croissance économique dans une économie de marché. Ok, it also helps with the economic development of a market. Et euh, ceci est d'autant plus important euh, dans nos économies contemporaines. This is extremely important in today's economical environment. Que l'on euh, constate qu'il y a de moins en moins d'emplois stables et de plus en plus d'emplois précaires. Especially at the moment where there are not a lot of jobs, unemployment is high and there are a lot of precarious jobs in the world, in countries. Le concept de compétence remplace la notion de poste et de qualification. The notion of competence replaces the... La notion de poste de travail. Uh, the, 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 the notion of knowing how to work, you know, the actual job itself. Qualification. And qualifications. On constate également qu'il y a une érosion du concept de la notion de cadre, d'encadrement. Ok. We also realize that sometimes there's a lack of support, a supporting environment to help people to develop. Et que nos économies s'insèrent de plus en plus dans un type de formation tout au long de la vie. Okay, and our economies actually help us. We need to know how they, they work, how they function, and this will help us in the future. Les premières conséquences, c'est que aujourd'hui, chacun doit être considéré comme un marchand de compétences, 
On est le marchand de ses propres compétences. Uh, one of the consequences is that well, we should be uh, our own, well, the seller of our own skills, and um, we are responsible for our own personal skills. Et tout ceci uh, tend à remettre en cause uh, l'éducation actuelle, <coughs> la formation et l'apprentissage traditionnel. Okay, and all this is. Um, a way to express maybe differently how uh, training, how uh, the way we educate people should be done. Maybe it should be done a bit differently. We need to think about it and we maybe need to change it. We may need to change it. Le, la formation à l'entrepreneuriat doit répondre à euh, quatre euh, enjeux. Comment développer d'abord sa capacité créative Okay, uh, entrepreneurship should respond to four uh, main uh, qu well, uh, questions. How to develop uh, one's creative capacity and enhance it. Beaucoup de chefs d'entreprise et pas des moindres, notamment uh, Jean-René Fourtou, uh, nous disent qu'aujourd'hui il y a trop de managers, trop de gestionnaires dans les entreprises et pas assez d'entrepreneurs et de gens qui, ont, qui développent des imaginations. Uh, many managers now, uh, well, we've got the example of, uh, what's his name? Trop de managers. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, too, ma too many managers manager. think that they are, well, they just uh, manage uh, without being really imaginative. Uh, and uh, we really need more entrepreneurs. Ensuite, uh, comment développer la capacité au changement? How to develop uh, changing uh, skills. Donc, euh, au lieu d'être euh, défensif, il convient d'avoir une approche beaucoup plus offensive. We should be offensive rather than defensive, of course. Comment développer la capacité à l'anticipation I Et wish, sorry. Oui. How we should anticipate things, our own capacity to anticipate things. Alors, euh, et enfin, comment développer un nouvel état d'esprit. How to develop a new state of mind. Alors, un, mettre en place un projet entrepreneurial euh, ne s'improvise pas et il convient de l'approcher à travers une pédagogie active par projet. Ok, what we're doing is actually we should not improvise this, this should be educated, people should be educated to do this. C'est une pédagogie qui doit s'exonérer des cours magistraux et doit donner du temps au temps. Ok, such um, education should not be done in the form of formal lectures, but it should be a little bit more relaxed. Et il est important d'apprendre en faisant, c'est ce qu'on appelle learning by doing. Ok, we should absolutely apply the rule, learning by doing, not just listening to long lectures, we should do it ourselves. Néanmoins, il nous convient, il convient de maîtriser un ensemble de connaissances, de disciplines, we en adoptant une démarche et des comportements adéquats. Ok. Of course, we all have to be very disciplined and know how to be disciplined and develop the correct behavior to do so. Et de cette façon, l'apprentissage à l'entrepreneuriat peut être facilité par les nouvelles technologies de l'information. Ok. Obviously, um, IT will help us by to do this too. Ainsi, donc, l'utilisation d'une plateforme collaborative à laquelle vous serez confronté. Okay, it's absolutely necessary to have collaborative platforms so that we can learn together. Va vous permettre d'aller vous procurer l'information sur les disciplines de gestion. Okay, in order for us to learn how to um, Uh, behave accordingly and how to learn how to manage people. Mais également uh, vous permettre d'y trouver les informations nécessaires et les modèles dont vous allez vous, vous inspirer. Okay, and obviously to find the correct models that are going to inspire us to do so. Le jeune entrepreneur devient ainsi un véritable acteur de son apprentissage. The young entrepreneur therefore takes control of his education. Et uh, le professeur devient un tuteur, un coach. And the teacher, therefore the teacher becomes the coach 
of the future entrepreneur. Ceci loin de l'image traditionnelle du professeur délivrant sa connaissance so à travers un cours magistral. Sorry. So basically the image of the teacher is changing in the process too. Instead of being lecturers and lecturing people on what to do, we're actually getting involved with these young people. En conclusion, je dirais que le véritable pari du formateur aujourd'hui est d'enseigner à l'apprenti entrepreneur à faire de manière autonome son métier, son métier d'entrepreneur. Okay, basically the trainer today, the coach is training the entrepreneur to be independent, to be, to work alone, to be autonomous. Je vous remercie de votre attention. Thank you very much for your attention. Let's continue before our next guest speaker. I need to make an introduction about what is happening new today. Maybe you saw this uh, roll-up banner. It's the new concept that we are launching officially today. We've been working uh, for several months with uh, my team. So to be or you to be is the new concept of university to business, an integrated concept that uh, intends to strengthen the impact of the, uh, let's say, uh, academic in the uh, region, in the country, in partnership with uh, uh, the companies. And it's my pleasure to welcome, we have representative for the, from the companies. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, I hope you will be side by side with us in uh, developing this concept and make it, making things possible. Because uh, uh, there are a lot of things to do. University needs to change. Uh, I, I need to change, so another change, another new thing from the previous year. I have a longer hair. <laughs> it's uh, uh, with my colleague from the communication department who said it's the official uh, haircut of the communication. <laughs> so we meaning to be a hub, the university to business hub, uh, leap forward in entrepreneurial university development. And uh, the background, we have started uh, three years ago within the Petromayor University with the so-called SAS, Societate Entrepreneuriale Studentiasca, meaning uh, Entrepreneurial Student Society. Uh, that we call from SAS, Science in Action for Success. This is uh, our idea for the uh, university. Then uh, we, uh, let's say, we want to implement and took into consideration the seven pillars of a real entrepreneurial university according to EU and OCDE, that means leadership and governance, the, the management, the organizational capacity, funding, people and incentive. And I'll give some example. This is an example. Our universities, and especially my university, granted us with uh, opportunity to participate in a competition. And we have two small grants that helps us finance also this event and our uh, intention, entrepreneurial teaching and learning. So we are doing this and with the help, for instance, of Professor Tarcha and Professor Niago, thank you very much, who invited me to teach uh, project management and entrepreneurship. We will spread this across the larger university. We have uh, altogether almost 12,000 students. So it's a big endeavor. But uh, it's not only about entrepreneurial, uh, let's say, classical way starting business. It's first about innovative approach and uh, open-minded mind people. So then, preparing and supporting entrepreneurs. And I need to apologize because the intention of coming here, that's another new thing, was to present our 
office of the, the hub, but because of public procurement uh, problems, we it's not ready yet, but I promise that the next year we will work uh, in a special room and collaborative space. We will, you will see next. Then digital transformation capabilities. Now I will leave this afterwards to my two partners to show you a lot of digital capabilities. Knowledge exchange and collaboration is the basis. Is the large university different, uh, uh, let's say, values, uh, different goals, uh, different backgrounds, scientific background, but there's a strong need of integration. And of course, the internationalized institution, what we are doing now, we are working internationally, and uh, we have uh, this special guest. So very fast, you will see the first draft uh, with, um, with the idea that our hub, U2B hub, uh, we intend to be the heart of an innovative ecosystem in the region. So see here the green part working with schools, including vocational training, and you will have a presentation on this. The industry, we want to work closely with our partners from the industry, for, from companies and uh, from um, civil society, and uh, also uh, public authorities. We need to shake a little bit uh, this uh, environment because uh, uh, in Romania, in our especially in our region, the public authorities are not so dedicated to support innovation and, and entrepreneurship as I uh, saw uh, in other countries. So, a big heart. For now, we have it. I hope we will have the big energy and the big uh, support to to implement all this. Then, uh, what uh, are the let's say main drivers? of our hub. First, optional training for students following the pattern of the best summer academy. Uh, then the portal, uh, all-inclusive portal for all services related to relationship uh, with the economy. Alliance of Innovation, the collaborative platform that is needed for researchers, teachers, and people from other organizations. Spaces, facilities, Thinkubator X3, <laughs> extreme I can call it. We will have uh, by the end of the summer three operational spaces. Then a center of know-how transfer and uh, another uni USO, and I call it Unique Support Office. I, I call it UMEFEST to help people who want to be really become entrepreneurs to start their business, we can support that for startups and spin-offs within the university. So there's a big need for commitment for and for the teams that um, we need. To do. And last, for now, we have one space is ready. It was a partnership between uh, the university and the alumni association within a project, in a Digitrans project. We managed to organize here, let's say in the basement, the Thinkubator, number one, the first innovating space for meetings, presentation, group work, and so it's our first step in the infrastructure that we propose. And I'm counting on your support, and thank you very much for And now it's mm, talking about synergies and partnership. It's my pleasure to invite our visiting professor, the distinguished professor William Au, to present his idea within our project. Uh, you have a very, very exciting program and uh, a lot of support and a very enthusiastic participant. And I'm glad to be a part of this process. <coughs> uh, I'm a professor from Romania, China, and United States. Um, I, I work here for two years already, 
And I spent about nine months in Romania, two months in China, and one month in the United States. So a lot of expertise, particularly for international collaboration. And uh, so I have developed uh, some special program, and I'd like to share it with you to have your input and collaboration. And my field is in medicine, particularly on genetics and cancer. So my presentation to you is related to genetic and cancer, population health. But there are plenty of opportunity for collaboration with engineer, economy, legal matter, and so on. So let me just sh share with you, highlight of what I've been doing for the last two years, and will continue to be working with you for the future. The next slide. Uh, uh, by the way, any, any uh, comment can, can address to me on a, in an email. It's an email from China. Uh, so there's some of the I work uh, items that I focus my work on and for the work in Romania to create opportunity to achieve innovative and synergistic outcome. And second, to involve all members of the combined university, the medical school, pharmacy, and so on, as well as uh, 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 Petro Meyer. And involve international community for tra strategic transformation, collaboration. All right? So, well, so we also have to set goal. What do we mean by innovation and uh, success? We have to have set goal and uh, also timeline. For example, I set the, 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 the criteria for achievement of goal, very simple description. Need to be innovative outcome, new and valuable. Combining our expertise, our knowledge with technology to generate the innovative outcome. And what do you mean by synergy? One plus one is more than two. If we, two of us work together, we produce a lot more result than the summary of two of us. And this is very critical. We have to really combine what we can do and be innovative also. And we have to have measurement of success. Now, it has to be evidence-based, not just saying, I'm, I'm very good, I'm an expert. What is the evidence that I'm an expert? My impact factor for publication and international ranking, funding level, the success of student, and so on, right? So these are the some of the criteria I set the goal, and we've been working on that with my collaborator here and around the world. So one of the uh, new uh, action I wanted to work on is to develop a distinguished faculty seminar series. And our vice director here, is Dan Daniela, has been working with me also on this one. Because we have the two universities joined together. We have medical people, pharmacy people, engineers, and so on. We need to know each other. What are our spill? What are the opportunity we can work together? Otherwise, we just exist as individual people. We're not going to do better, right? So, <coughs> so, we have, so we have a presentation of expertise from all faculty, staff, on to create opportunity, not just on scientific research, Innovation and administration. How do you administer to do better? How do you teach to do better? Right? How can we work together? So, so that is critical. So I want, we, this will be initiated starting October of this year. I want people to participate. When you hear about announcement, come to the seminar. And presentation will be created in a way that they will be evaluated online. So when you attend my seminar, you use a mobile phone to evaluate, am I prepared for my seminar? Do I present valuable information useful to you? Right? Do I put you to sleep? <laughs> right? Am I talking too fast? Do you understand me? I hope so. Thank you. Uh, I always say, to those who understand me well, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those who don't understand me, please raise your hand. <laughs> so, <coughs> so, 
So next contribution I made to the university, uh, based on my field of expertise, is to create innovative courses which stimulate creativity and generate leadership because we're training students for the future. They have to be creative, they have to be leader. And they have to know the latest knowledge and create their own understanding to be a leader in the future. So I created some courses that are based on multidisciplinary approaches. So I'm in genetic and cancer, but I don't know histology, I don't know pathology. So some people can come and help me provide better understanding of my course. Uh, student centered learning, students have to be motivated to learn. I have problem-based learning, team-based learning activity. The student engage in learning on their own. Uh, and a significant capacity enhancement. They, after they take a course, they have much better capacity to manage challenges in the future. So some of the courses are new uh, to the university, like translational and personalized medicine. Personalized is the new worldwide priority in medicine. And transformation medicine via innovation entrepreneurship. I'll be working with all of you to do the second part very actively. So uh, let me try to explain what are the courses, why are they important? Well, the first course it, it offer already, translation and personalized medicine. So very important, we need to have better health risk assessment on individual, not on population basis. For example, we are exposed to, to toxic substances that can cause cancer or leukemia. Currently, we, the risk is, well, the exposure can cause 10 cases of leukemia per 100,000 people. So look at that. Well, it's a risk is very bad. Nobody should develop leukemia from exposure. But who are the 10 people who will develop leukemia? Over 100,000. So that is the uncertainty that need to be addressed to be better. Huh? So we need to have new technology, genomic determination of disease and abnormality, uh, so that we can have more target specific prevention and intervention. Right? I have two slides to share with you. So this is a cartoon to explain what I just talked to you. For example, on a daily basis, we can be exposed to toxic substances, radioactive agent or toxic chemical. Cigarette smoking will be one good example. Hmm? So among the exposed people, some of them develop disease. And m most of them do not have major problem. Right. Then the question is, can we identify these three people? But that is very important. Not just say, everybody exposed, everybody at risk for cancer. That is scary, but it doesn't do any good, major, major help. The more important is, well, if we can identify these are the people who will develop disease, these are the ones that are sensitive, and these are resistant. Wouldn't that be better? That everybody would be better, we have more motivated in taking care of themselves, avoid the disease. Another example is cancer. At this time, example is breast cancer. Yeah? Breast cancer in female. So at this time, the female with breast cancer of the same diagnosis are treated with the same drug, same medication, same radiation. And we know very well that some of them respond well, some of them don't respond well, some of them have toxicity, even though they have the same diagnosis for the same kind of cancer. So that is, we are doing much better than before, but we need to do much better. We need to be very innovative in doing better. Well, with the genomic technology, we can sequence the entire genome for everybody. It can be done, it's just costly. Well, but another way to do is sequence the DNA variation. This can be done easily and quickly. 
we have DNA sequences, but every one of our DNA have different variation that make you and I different, and we behave differently. These are called variation. It's not mutation that cause disease, but variation, like hair color, eye color, and so on. Hmm? So we can do this kind of DNA sequence variation analysis. It's very easily done. So we can do sequence analysis of this patient and identify they have different variation. We can group them in a five group or 10 group, all right? And we may find that one with a profile A and profile E respond well to standard treatment. Uh, remember, these are all have the same diagnosis. Now we can better define some of them with this DNA variation, we can identify clearly, respond well to the therapy. Maybe another profile, B, C, and D, do not respond well. Now we are making moving forward, doing much better now. We identify individually and group how they respond. Now we have to do more research. Why do they respond well or not well? Is that because they metabolize the drug differently? Do they repair the DNA damage differently? Many, many things you can do. Every step we do, we improve the personalized medicine, target specific therapy. So that is something that is already ongoing and making a lot of, a lot of great progress and something that we need to do more often. So what else do we do? Well, another cause is transformation in medicine. So we're talking about big population, population here. How do we know which one is likely to develop disease if you smoke? Uh, which one is more resistant or you're exposed to something? Uh, I'm talking about medicine. We can be talking about many other things. What are the risk factors for people to, to, to uh, get hurt, to have accident? People to are accident prone, right? So, we started to collect a lot of personal data to have better understanding of the risk. So, so we have to have data, big database collection. Your lifestyle history, your disease uh, history, call collected together, and have, then have to be organized and transform the database, like digitization, how to manage the data, how to apply it. Right? We collect all the data on the individual patients and we have to interpret it correctly to make the precise assessment and prediction. So we also have a lot of data that, that, that may be better to be automated and use artificial intelligence to interpret the data before humans start working on it. So that's another opportunity there. Uh, we have to be multidisciplinary to working with medicine, engineering, economic, culture of different countries. Yeah? Have their entrepreneurship to make it work and open up opportunity. And uh, the l I think the last topic I want to talk about is about international collaboration. Because I spent 40 years in the United States as a distinguished professor and then eight years in China, two years here. I know a lot of international scholar for interpretation, for collaboration. And I try to bring them here in Romania too. So last year, I organized the first international conference uh, of this topic. The first international conference on innovation in population health and precision medicine, similar to what I just talked to you about. So it was done, it was successfully organized in university last year. It was so well organized, the participant in the meeting wanted to have additional meeting around the world. So I am organizing the next meeting in Thailand and 2022 in Italy. So I want you to keep in mind because what your work can be presented in this international meeting. And then in addition, I'm working with uh, Professor Negu, right there, on the traditional Chinese medicine and pain management workshop. Will be in November of this year. 
So you watch on the website and participate. Because I would be bringing in two traditional Chinese medicine doctors from China to work with our doctor here to have a better solution for pain management. If we manage pain well, we have better quality of life, we have better performance, we feel happier. So that is very important. So that will be the first meeting here and in Europe, and hopefully that will continue uh, like, like the other meeting. In addition, I, uh, we, the University have signed translational collaborative agreement with the Santo University of Medical College, where I work as a professor, Tamasat University in Thailand, and Seoul National University in Korea. Right? This national university is ranked number 36 in the entire world. So there's very uh, a lot of opportunity to work with us uh, to share uh, well expertise. So I think my last slide in conclusion is uh, what I'm doing here. And the director invited me to come here to work for the last two years and will we'll con hopefully continue. Will to stimulate, to use my expertise and program to stimulate all members of the university, including all of you here, to collaborate synergistically with each other and with our outside colleagues also. Some people from outside can work with us. We have to pursue evidence-based excellence while innovation and entrepreneurship. So I thank you for your attention, and thank you. I look forward to your comment. Thank you very much, Professor Rao. It was an example of these distinguished seminars, and uh, we will continue. Uh, this is a new approach, and it is uh, important that people, I adore what you said, we need to know each other better. So I propose, in an innovative approach, we need to do uh, more, uh, let's say, parties together. We met each other, what, six months ago? Yes. Yeah. So we <laughs> Uh, I've been here two years looking for somebody like him to work together. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we no, it's, uh, it's my pleasure. Okay, keep in touch. Thank you very much. We need to speed up a little bit and continuing this uh, that's, uh, example of synergies, I will ask my colleagues, Leah and Daniela. They will present a project that we were involved in about uh, entrepreneurship regarded to vocational education. Hello again. I'm very glad to speak to you now about an international project where uh, we are in the same team, uh, Leah, Liviu, and myself, regarding, of course, entrepreneurship. Otherwise, we won't be here in, uh, in front of you in order to speak about it. Uh, in this case, uh, the leader of our team, the national representative, is uh, Leah, so I will invite her to speak more about it in order for you to understand how education and entrepreneurship is nowadays uh, approached, very, very uh, familiar and very friendly with, uh, with uh, the young people. You will see. Uh, hello. Uh, this project is very uh, important for us. Uh, it is called Creator, so we have to be creative. Uh, and it has a long uh, title. Let me uh, read it. Experimental approach to teaching uh, entrepreneurship through workplace training. Um, shortly, uh, what's about? Uh, we want to uh, teach teachers in uh, vet schools to uh, teach entrepreneurship to students in a different way. Uh, you are a lot of students here. I know uh, that you don't like theory. You like to, to experiment, to try things, to uh, learn uh, by doing something. This is the core of this uh, project. Uh, we were uh, taught in uh, Slovenia, for instance, uh, myself and Daniela, how to teach entrepreneurship uh, to vet uh, teachers, and uh, vet teachers uh, uh, implemented in schools this uh, new idea, let's say. Schools. In schools, yeah, high schools. Uh, I don't know if you know the condition of our vocational education. It was a little bit uh, 
let's say, uh, destroyed in, in a way, and uh, it uh, almost disappeared, but uh, vocational school is very, very important. That's why uh, uh, through this project we try to revive the vocational schools uh, uh, teaching entrepreneurship. Uh, basically, this is the partnership, uh, uh, Germany, Italy, Slovenia, Romania and Croatia. We are, uh, let's say, uh, in each uh, country we have a school and we have uh, a company or a university. For instance, in Germany there is a school, uh, in UNA and there is a company. Uh, the same in Italy, uh, a high school and a company, the same in Slovenia and so on. Only in Romania we have the university. Uh, and you'll see why, and the elect uh, Elektromuresh Technological High School. Um, the results of the project, uh, shortly, uh, the first one is uh, uh, the guidelines for experiential teaching of entrepreneurship. Experiential means that you experiment and you try what you are uh, learning, in fact. You, don't, uh, you are not taught theory and that's all. Uh, you are uh, given the basic because you need as students the basic, even the teachers needed that and then you have to try. In this way you learn how to develop companies, for instance, or uh, a product or service to be provided to, the, to your customers. Uh, the second uh, result is uh, teaching materials for teachers and learning workbook for students. We have handbooks in different languages, in uh, five different languages, but this handbook is not uh, as a regular handbook because it, uh, it has uh, just a little bit of theory and then you have tools to be used uh, when you experiment what you are doing. Then uh, the third is a compendium of prototypes created in uh, entrepreneurial projects. It is based on uh, students' work in uh, those uh, five countries. And uh, then we have at the end uh, a study because we want to measure if all this new method, in fact, it's not new, maybe it's new for us, but it's not new. Uh, had an, an impact on teachers and students at the same time. Um, it, uh, it was very important that we had a train the trainer event in Ljubljana in Slovenia, so we were taught how to teach entrepreneurship to VETS uh, teachers. So uh, it uh, took place in Slovenia in uh, three days. And long, long days. Yeah, and because uh, you know that uh, a picture uh, can uh, tell you more than uh, 1,000 words, you can see that uh, we played with different things and we created, uh, and Daniela can tell you a little bit of uh, that if she wants. Yes, I would, <laughs> just shortly. Uh, we implemented uh, some uh, very interesting tools as design thinking as a tool in order to um, test if uh, an idea, you may have an idea, business idea, but uh, you have an idea that, and you think that it's a good business idea, but could be only a, an idea. So this tool tests if your idea is really um, suitable for uh, the economic environment. Um, and another uh, tool that we applied, it was business model canvas. And another one is was Scamper, very interesting also in order to force you to see things in different ways. So innovating uh, tradition, Scamper can help you to see, uh, to see uh, an old or something that you think that it's old uh, in a different way. You are forced to do that because we, we don't like to get out from the box. We like to stay in the box because it's very comfortable and this tools force you to, to see things differently. You have to, um, to see that idea from different point of view as, as substitute. What could, could you substitute with the, that idea or that Even object? a banana. If you have a banana, you have to think how you can substitute the banana in Combine the second scamper. Combine, adapt, 
uh, modify, uh, put in another use, uh, eliminate, eliminate, and uh, remove. Remove. Are these high school teacher or university people? Uh, yes, uh, we we were trainers for uh, vet schools uh, teachers, but we also implement in our university. We have uh, in November a week for. Uh, entrepreneurship uh, events. So then we applied some of these um, tools uh, for our students and they were very, very um, involved and they like it a lot. Uh, then we had, uh, because we were taught how to, to teach this uh, uh, method, uh, we had a training uh, for the VAT teachers in September, uh, 14 uh, teachers participated in the, the training, mostly from Elektromunerz Technological High School because uh, this high school is partner in the project, but there were other teachers from other high schools, you, you can see the names. And they were like students, they were involved, they played, they, uh, and uh, it was very interesting for, for them. They, they said that they didn't know that they can play with different tools, uh, even as teachers. And almost to every icebreaker that we presented as part of, this, of uh, these tools, they said, I will apply to my class, uh, no matter what uh, kind of course they had. They said, it's suitable for me. They were so exciting that they have new uh, tools to address to their students. And uh, they, uh, the VAT teachers, they had an international study visit uh, in, uh, in Rome. As you can see, uh, they uh, uh, met with entrepreneurs, they uh, played, they did different things. Uh, and in, uh, in the period March, April, the VAT teachers implemented this uh, uh, method in the Electromuresh Technological High School. And as you can see, 32 students from the 9th, 10th, uh, and uh, 12th grade participated. There were uh, three uh, teachers, and these are their uh, business ideas. Black Diamond, uh, it provides affordable and high-quality painting services. Uh, cloud Parking, it is a paid multi-level parking near the center of the town. Honey Cafe, uh, e-coffee, hot doggers, tour guide. These were their ideas, and uh, as you can see, they worked uh, on uh, the business model canvas on the left side at the bottom. They had prototyping, uh, and uh, they were pretty much involved as the teacher were in Slovenia and then uh, in uh, Romania. And uh, as the, the final part, uh, we had uh, the third uh, project meeting in Romania. As you can see, uh, Daniela Libio and myself uh, uh, are involved in the project. We had discussions and, of course, we had some cultural visit because this is the idea. Uh, you work, but you have to uh, develop a soft skill, which, it, uh, which is cultural uh, awareness because you are from different cult, uh, countries and you are different. Even people from the same country, uh, uh, having, let's say, uh, uh, who was born in another country and now lives in uh, France or Romania, is different. So now you, uh, you have to try to be culturally uh, aware of that, so. Thank you. If you have questions. <laughs> I will ask my colleague Daniel Stefan to present you. <laughs> ah, he's the other the professor to present uh, a part of uh, what we intend to do. Because you heard about the scamper method, so the idea is eyes open, ears to be fresh, to to change something, to substitute, to bring something new, to make evolve to okay that's good thank you thank you thank you Liviu. thank you my friends thank you dear guests uh, i'm pleased to be here for the i don't know how many times to to this big event that uh, we have here in transylvania uh, even if the university 
renewed themselves, so we have we are new. This is a new beginning for for uh, what will come in the future. So uh, I'm here because uh, I'm the coordinator, local coordinator of the Port Cultural Project. So it's project uh, of. Uh, um, the translation is like this portfolio of innovative tools for sustainable development of rural communities with tourist potential through capitalization of cultural patrimony and cultural identity. This is a so-called, it's a research project, it's a so-called complex research project because it's a sum of projects. We are a uh, partner from different fields of uh, uh, activities. So there is uh, University of Medicine, Farm, so Faculty of Economics and Law from uh, our universities. Uh, there is also an institute from Romanian Academy, an institute from uh, 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 Ministry of Tourism, uh, um, Faculty of Arch Architecture from uh, University of uh, Gheorghe Sakiyas and University of Suceava as lead partner of, uh, of this project. Uh, so our uh, main target is rural area. So uh, we target and we intend to provide at the end of this project, it will be next year in December. So we have mm, less than a year than when we, than we uh, from the point, uh, the starting point of the project, and uh, we intend to uh, deliver some uh, ready-to-use tools in order to uh, promote everything that's in the title of of this project, to uh, of offer these tools to local communities, to uh, owners, to uh, companies who intend to develop the area of uh, the rural area of uh, Transylvania and Bukovina, which are the main targets of our uh, our project. At this moment, we investigated and we have a database of almost. I think over 100 uh, traditional houses. Uh, a part of them were already uh, documented by the colleagues from architecture. We will provide uh, ways, um, uh, way, ways, different uh, methods how these houses can be uh, adapted to uh, our uh, present needs uh, and present standards of living and keep also a little bit the the tradition in this uh, these buildings these old buildings these old houses and to put them to give them to the tourist market yes so it's a development it's a sustainable development uh, it, it intends to be innovative in in order to not to uh, broken the the tradition not to broken the the image and these uh, things related to culture so this week, I think uh, we can learn from each other, uh, from colleagues from France, because from my perspective, uh, they have a good tradition in, in uh, cultivating this, uh, these aspects of rural areas and promoting them and uh, bringing them uh, um, value from economic perspective and keeping them also in the state of the, the tradition and uh, what is good for, for the people to, to feel proud of their, uh, of their um, activities. So we can learn each other, my, uh, one from each other. Uh, our colleagues uh, and me will be with you uh, this week and we can uh, provide more information about what we have done, our experiences, what we have found uh, in this area and if some of the projects that will be developed in this uh, the summer school goes in this direction, you can count on us to, to support with uh, information. Thank you very much. Have a good stay in uh, Transylvania. Have a good stay in Turgumores. Thank you, Daniel. And I need to say that uh, our study trips from today and tomorrow are supported a little bit by this project. You will go in rural areas, so and we have to be with and you. And we have one representative of the team, the, the main, the core team with us. Alexandra will be with you. Will be with me? No, with everybody. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, so we need to speed up. So you've seen some examples of what we are intending with this U to be hub, and now it's my honor and pleasure to introduce my two colleagues and friends, Daniel Vasile Stefan, <laughs> that's all <laughs> they'll say, and Mihai Timush, 
please come. Oh, that's the official uh, design. Okay, because they have been working a lot for the implementation, uh, and uh, Daniel will show you the. The platform has worked, and there is one colleague who could not attend this presentation, but he was here with us in the morning, Adi Popescu from Roedunet, who helped us with uh, the IT section. Thank you, Livio. Thank you, everybody, for attending our event, and a special thanks for uh, the company's representatives who join us uh, today. As, my, as Livio said, we are uh, working to a new concept, University to Business. Uh, this is a project of uh, Student Ent Entrepreneurship Society and uh, Compartment of Labor Market Relations. Both of them are uh, structures of uh, University of Medicine, Pharmacy, Sciences and uh, Technologies. What U2B means? In, uh, we started from the premise that uh, university must be an active partner for the business community and anchored in the economic and educational reality. So U2B must be all universities' activities with potential to be developed uh, in a partnership with companies or public institutions. Uh, going further, we... Uh, uh, Identi we have uh, identified uh, some uh, roles for companies and public institutions in their relations with uh, our university. So we will have uh, uh, as internship partners, employers, beneficiaries of work activities or services provided by university and educational and research partner. Based on these roles, we uh, also identified links of activity within U2B. That means one plus two, so internship plus employ employers uh, means internship mar marketplace, and you'll see further what, uh, what that means. And three plus four means activities for business and institutional communities. Uh, for U2B concept, we have uh, two implement implementation environment. It's an online and uh, with the platform u2b.mfst.ro and an offline as a uh, communication uh, strategy uh, materials dedicated to, to the companies. This is our platform, u2b. This is the home page. It's an information uh, page for uh, uh, entrepre uh, Students Entrepreneurial Society. This is the menu for companies to enroll in our platform. Mihai, please give a click there. This is, this is, uh, yeah, I was joking. Uh, so this is uh, a form for the companies to enroll in our, uh, in our platform. There, they are putting their uh, identification uh, data, their interest for uh, the companies. Uh, please scroll. They choose the, the field of study they are interested in. And after that, they submit the forms and uh, we'll uh, take in contact with them by, uh, by emails. Uh, so now, Mihai, please go to the home page. Another. Uh, menu is to events. Here we have all the events uh, of the university within the, the companies. We have a program company hour. This is where the events will be listed and uh, the, uh, this is from there, there, uh, there will be advertised to the students and for all they are interested in. Next menu is uh, infrastructure for joint projects and uh, U2B. This, uh, uh, in this menu, we, we put it all the infrastructure of all the research infrastructures of the university on uh, the structure and uh, as on the fields of study and domains. In medicine, pharmacy, engineering, uh, law economy, and uh, science and letters. 
And also we will have uh, the uh, U2B infrastructure as innovation hub, incubator, and uh, junior companies. In uh, the last uh, menu, we have uh, internship marketplace. This is the place where students will, uh, we will, fi uh, will find all the forms relating to their internship stages. And also, the, uh, here they will, uh, uh, they will find the company's offers uh, regarding internships, regarding employment, regarding uh, uh, bachelor or uh, master thesis uh, teams. Uh, I will uh, shorten my, my presentation. Uh, this is our platform, it's a work in progress. Uh, we are looking forward together with uh, our, my colleagues, with uh, the companies, the students, uh, to develop it and uh, to uh, improve it to become a useful tool uh, for everybody. So. Thank you. Uh, I wish you not to be good or just good. Let's be all of us the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daniel. Sorry, here we are uh, wirelessly connected and sometimes uh, it goes slower. This is infrastructure. And I hope we can present because uh, we have developed something very interesting. Uh, uh, within uh, our team, uh, we launched the um, U2B uh, group on Microsoft Teams. I don't know, does anybody use Microsoft Teams? Yes, uh, for me uh, it's, uh, it's great, but the, um, how um, should I say, the academic version is uh, very good. So, Mihai, try to show a little bit what you are doing and what uh, we can do with our resources. Hello everybody, this is our main workplace where we spend most of our time, uh, U2B team. So what can we do with this? Uh, it helps us to improve our works, to make us more efficient. And I will tell you what is the meaning of this platform for us and for all students. First of all, for this kind of platform has access all the students in the university and we want to promote it as, uh, as uh, good as we can uh, to use this platform. So first of all, we have, uh, uh, we have teams here where we can create uh, channels. Uh, what helps, it can be different projects or as you see best. Uh, we can have a uh, files management. Uh, we can work together in the same document. Uh, it doesn't matter where we are. Interfere because email is history. Sending thousands of hundred uh, or hundreds of thousands of emails and using email as a sharing platform is not good because it gives us the problem to excuse ourselves. Ah, I didn't get this mail, I couldn't see this email. Email is history. Sharing files, working on common files, that's the future. Sharing experiences. Now we have this technical project, but we can show you that we can work together on the same document. People from here, from all the buildings, with friends, with uh, anybody else to change. It's also a collaborative space, we can also create uh, meetings. We can also, let me show you first, uh, uh, how, many, how many tools can we integrate in this platform? Uh, because we have uh, many apps that can help us and can uh, personalize our work with uh, our team. Unfortunately, the internet is slower. Uh, for students, we will present it later, and uh, yeah, so let's wait a bit just to take a look what is happening here. And uh, as I said about meetings, we can use uh, physical uh, rooms or online rooms, and I will show you uh, uh, tools 
what we develop. Uh, as I said, to a platform, uh, each student has access and uh, they have account. Uh, we also, uh, on the platform, can create their uh, own apps, uh, which can help us very well. In, uh, for example, in booking a room for working together and uh, work with our uh, colleagues and uh, be more efficient as uh, William. Yeah, now I'm connecting with my phone to show you the app which can have access all students uh, to not search for, for example, sometimes you can't work in the libraries because you, you have to be silence there. So in a group, you, ha you can book one of our um, incubators. And as I said, uh, you, can, you can create a uh, meeting, online meeting, and uh, your colleagues can join you at the existing meeting, uh, or you can book a room without meeting. So let's, let's do without meeting, because I did. <laughs> Uh, we can set here uh, uh, date, hours, it's, let's say, tomorrow. And we will book uh, Incubator 1, which is underground, because Incubator 2 will be ready at the end of this week. Uh, he is checking if a room is available, if no one else booked this room. And as soon as possible, I already get a mail that uh, a room is booked, sorry. And I can have access at the time when I booked it. The, this tool, we, we intend to use it for the new concept that we will launch soon, the Open Lab, to make available some laboratories for uh, common work uh, and uh, we will visit a laboratory that's uh, of the nutrition <laughs> department, and we want to book it for Friday night. <laughs> okay, so because the bus is arriving, we will leave today for the first study trip. I thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Keep in touch, and let's have a great week and a nice life. As William said, let's start acting healthy, and we will be happy. See you when you get there.